Well, the race is on. We are neck and neck and we are staying that way, I think, all the way to our goal weight. Yes, indeed. You guys, today is a regular keto, carnivore, ketovorish, and low carb day, according to our scare the weight off protocol. And Harry wants chaffles for breakfast. So you guys, yes, I do. he does. So come on, you guys, let's get this day started. Good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. You guys, it's in the high 80s today. My winter lawn is coming in. I'm excited about that. Um, and we have got things to do today. We're gonna go out and about. We've gotta go to the PO box and check that out. Got some other things that have come in. Um, it is a regular eating day so Harry wants chaffles so I'm gonna make yes. some delicious chaffles and share that with everybody um, it is a neck-and-neck neck race you guys the race is on yes indeed It's gonna get pretty heated here soon. How many of you guys have been losing weight on the Scare the Weight Off Challenge? How many? Leave me a comment down in the description below. Did you have a hard stall that this helped move you like it did with Harry and I? All of a sudden, you know, we're able to lose the weight again? Let me know, you guys. Are you gonna stay with us? in November. I was looking over there going, what is that thing, that lump, Harry? You, you know what, you guys? I get that table cleaned off, get it all set up, and then all of a sudden, stuff magically appears. That's that swimming inner tube thing you bought. You put it on the table. I'm going, what? What is that over there? I'm gonna so get to the all of a sudden, I went, straight. squirrel. I, I, I bought it to show everybody how you the blow vacuum. off the vacuum. Yeah, that's yes. why I bought it. I'm going to go give it to the kids across the street. You know what that little car vacuum has been great for? The basses? Oh, man. Cleaning out my cupboards. Because when I put my, when I put my um, toaster in here, I get crumbs everywhere. It's so good for that around your trash can. Right in all my cupboards and stuff. Just whip it out. It's good in for there, the, too. It gets it's all good the crumbs. For the, it's good, good for the uh, clean this out refrigerator. Yeah. It's good for crumbs. It really is. Yeah, we're using it's it all the, the time. It's great for the kitchen. It's just turned out to be a really great thing for the it kitchen. It did, it did. And my computer area. Yes, it did. You guys, I'm working on some more giveaways, probably closer to um, Black Friday. Black Friday's coming up, I cannot believe it. It's like, it goes from Halloween to Christmas. It just goes whoop right over everything, right? Anyway, you guys. We're gonna make chaffles today. I'm gonna to make my regular recipe. I'll share what flavor we're gonna do. Yes, indeed. And uh, how did we do weight wise? How did we do? Let me share. Let me share with you guys because it's interesting. It's like a dead heat every, I'm like, neither one of us lost weight. Yeah, nothing at all. Nothing. It was kind of weird. I'm kind of wondering. And Harry's like. I'm going, is the scale okay? Yeah. Well, I think we're, we're the scale's like going crazy anyway because we have person one, yeah, person we're really two, close. and like whoever weighs in first, and then it has you choose one for the person, and uh, yeah, it doesn't know what to do. Oh, you know what? I keep putting my fingers on everything up at the top. I got to quit grabbing, but I'm gonna be doing another calendar soon, and we will get it up probably towards the end of the week. You guys. Yvette, the Yvette Sportswear Giveaway, we are going to have that on air um, Wednesday. So well, we are choosing that. Or are no, we? we're choosing that today, right? Oh, okay, is it? Well, today's yeah. Monday. 
Monday, but they're seeing this on the 24th, so we'll choose it tomorrow. They'll see it on the 25th. Right. I have to, it, it, it drives me crazy. Tomorrow's Felicia's birthday, yes, indeed. So we gotta go out and about. I got some things I wanna mm -hmm. do there. So it's gotta be a real short, yes. tight video. If today. you have not seen. Plus, I have something else I gotta do. My event review and the giveaway, because there's gonna be not one, not two, but three winners three go check out this video because you can only enter to win on that video and the bra the sports bra i'm wearing plus the two i'm holding up are the ones you're going to be able to choose from and i am so excited because everybody everybody is included and gentlemen you're included too you can buy it for somebody get it get it as a gift for somebody yes indeed you can <laughs> so don't be afraid i got two guys are going i gotta get this for my loved one i gotta get this for my wife i gotta get this yes indeed so just so you know yes you can anyway last night i made a loaf of bread yes i did it's all done um today i want to make something else sweet we're having chaffles, so I may not make mine until tonight. So well, it's going to be a short day today. So you, know. you always say that. I have something I want to share with everybody. Oh, all right. I guess so, it's not going to be a short it's day. It's not going to be a short day, but uh -huh. it's going to be a fun day. It's going to be a fun day, mm -hmm. not a Sunday. It's a Monday, and it's a Tuesday for you. So let's get this day going, shall we? Chaffles, it is. Hey, everybody! I am making apple pie chaffles yes i am and yes. i'm very excited about it now not as excited as i am if you don't have if you don't want if you can't get apple pie keto chop get your favorite high protein powder in vanilla get yourself some really good apple pie drops this one is from granberry farms we have a link down and below go give rich march some love gremlin is the discount code but you guys you, these drops are really really good so you can use apple pie drops or you can use any flavor he's got every flavor you could ever want on his website so go check him out um, but i just wanted to share that for those of you who don't have it you can use beef based high protein powder you can use keto chow core you can use equip and whatever else that you find out there in your country in your area that you like that works for you i want extra protein i'm on a high protein moderate fat low carb ketogenic lifestyle right now so that's what i'm looking to do now i'm making a lot of chaffles today for harry and i i do use cream cheese but this is the one third less fat cream cheese philadelphia cream cheese one third less fat and i am putting in about two uh, tablespoons and i'm just going to melt it just a little bit She always has a hard time with this part. I do. Well, you got to open this time. I know. Sometimes they don't give you enough room. One, two. I just want to put it in here and just get it. It's already been softened, but I want to get it even just a little bit more soft. So I'm going to put this back in my refrigerator. Yes, I am. Um, I have just enough sprouts. Half a cup is four, equal to four eggs. So hopefully I've got half a cup. I gotta go get more of this today so I can make some sweet bread. I'm using egg whites and eggs because again, I'm on a, I'm on a lower fat. So I'm gonna put four eggs in there. So that'll give Harry and I each the equivalent of two egg yolks, which will give us our fats and our vitamins and our minerals that'll help with the fats to the keto chow, which gives you one third your daily um, vitamins and minerals in each scoop or package. So we're splitting all that. Let me put this over here. Let me put this in here just for a few seconds. Twenty seconds. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to go to Costco and get another thing of eggs, Harry. I do a Costco run. I don't want to cook 
my cream cheese. I just want to get it soft. Like jello. Let it sit there and cool off a minute. Four eggs. These eggs are smaller. You ever notice the eggs are not extra large anymore? They're, they're getting smaller and smaller. And there are different sizes in the carton that you're getting now. I don't know if you guys are noticing that or not. I know if you buy farm fresh, that's gonna happen, but it just seems like they're just getting the eggs while they can. Here, move, move them in a minute, babe. And of course, I gotta crunch them because I love it. It feels so good to crush eggs. That is funny. It's like popping bubble wrap. Yeah. It's just a cathargic. <laughs> it's yeah. funny. Yeah, the packing. Yes. Packing bubble it is. Sheets. The yeah. packing bubble sheets. You're right. It is. I'm gonna put my eggs back. I'm gonna put. I like mine sweet. I don't have a good taster, so I put English toffee drops in. About six to eight. I'm gonna put eight because I'm making more. I'm like doubling the batch, right? Yep. Um, ooh, that got hot. Sitting next to my um, I may need some water, so let me get just a little bit of water. Just get some. I'm just gonna put it here because I'm gonna have to watch it. Now, I've got some apple pie spice. I wanna make it that fall delicious flavor, right? Apples are in the fall. Just put some apple spice in there. Fall, yeah, it's like the, the music video I'm working on right now. It's, uh, fall? Fall, October. Is it? It's all about October. Yeah, I'm a little late with it. This is pretty. This is. I wanted it to come out about a week before Halloween, you know. Whoops. Let me see if this is going to work just fine. Here we go. Take your cream cheese and beat it up in the eggs here. You can use your electric beater, you can use your mixer, you can use your hand blender if you want to. You now can I'm going to put somebody else's hand. Yes, you can. Use somebody Make else's them. arm. Yes, you can. <laughs> wow, I need to buy some uh, I'm going to be making a large purchase here. Come um, you guys. This is the time of year. Black Friday. Perfect keto. Redmond Real Light, Keto Chow for sure, are going to be having sales. Don't miss out. That's when we stock up. Let me tell you, I got to buy some big bags. Yes, I do. Got to buy some big bags. One scoop of apple pie. That's all it takes. And it's more like a cake batter or a, actually it's more like a waffle batter. Oh, smell that. It smells so good. Oh yeah, I just got it. It just oh. came up. Oh, you know what would be good? <gasps> Apple pie cinnamon swirl sweet cake. Ooh. Wouldn't that be delicious? I'm gonna have to make that. I have a package, one package left. There's one scoop in here left. Oh, all my containers are empty. I'm getting down to the wire, you guys. I want to put a little bit of water in here yeah, and it's can't just make, can't make stuff without them so no you can't well you can you just have to buy other protein and i why That's why true. do that when i love keto chow yeah it's less mixing it's got all the stuff in it so come look at this you guys this makes a pancake batter a really nice pancake batter You can put a little bit of uh, baking powder, a uh, little bit of powder. Let me put some in there. Well, I want to make them fluffy. Yeah. So I'm going to put some baking powder in it. You don't have to, but I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to put half a teaspoon. These were a gift and I love them. 
Okay, half a teaspoon. And they're gonna be very much like regular waffles, pancakes. They're absolutely delicious, you guys. You can use the same batter for your pancakes too. I want them to be like a waffle, mm -hmm. right? Chocolate. I like the little have, holes, man, because you put the butter stays in there yeah. and the, all and anything you put on there stays in them holes. Chaffles have cheese that you put on and they're chewier and more cheesy and I like those for my savory dishes. I like my cream cheese and my batter this way because I want real live waffly waffles. Yes, indeed. So you guys, let me put this over here and let's get these in to the oven. I'm wondering if I need to put a couple more. I'm gonna put just two more drops. One, two. So eight, nine, ten. Because usually I put five or six in one batch, you know? Yep. Excuse me. I'm going to put this right here. Now when you get this black spoon is the exact measurement that you need for each little well. So I just get a level spoonful. Don't get overzealous in the spoon size. Yeah, because they... They expand. They blow up, man. They get big. They do. Why does that one look smaller? You think it is. Well, I think you get a lot of buildup in the bottom of the spoon. Okay, you guys, we'll come back when we have our first batch of chaffles. Now, before we go, we like Walden Farms, the original blend. I found the maple walnut syrup. We love the taste of walnuts. Harry can't have real ones. This doesn't have any walnuts in it, but it's got the delicious right. flavor. Yes, it does. Uh, so I'm gonna put good. that on there. Don't forget, get your drops. Go check out Rich March. You guys, I want to share with you here. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about when I say you can get every single flavor. Look at this. Look at this here. You need a bigger box. I do because I have got all my flavors. And look at all these. This is my gingerbread, holiday spice, golden butter. These are what I'm using, my banana. I've got those out, but I'm telling you. This is our other ones. If you can't find them, it doesn't exist. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So anyway, you guys, just wanted to share that with everybody. Use it in your coffee. Make your flav favorite pumpkin pie with heavy cream, some cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice in your coffee in the morning. Yes. Oh, I was going to show that on one of my coffee things. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you need to do one. Anyway, let's come back when I get this moved out of the way. And we have some... See how it's steaming? Uh-oh, see? Didn't look like there was enough in there, did yeah, it? Yeah, they, they, they yep. expand, man. Let's see how the other side is. Other side's okay. No drippage yet. No drippage. Oh, what a waste. Probably should put one on the other side. You always think there's not enough in there. And I always overfill, yeah. you know? Anyway, you guys, that smells. So you guys, good, oh my gosh. It smells so good. So good, yes indeed it does. Let me put this water in the thing. And let me get plates. Wash my pumpkin plates. Oh yeah, yes indeed I did. Let me wipe this off. 
today's a regular day here you get some butter with that all right Fill not a lot but you, some butter. not the, all of it you can't have all of it uh. yeah. you're funny dear see how it's steaming you want to let the steam dissipate when you start smelling the waffles let me check it real quick nope you got a ways to go yet well nope just a little bit just a little bit longer a little bit longer oh they're coming out right away oh, let me okay. get two forks yeah do you see the black oh there it is it's hiding this is my favorite i got this at ikea the skinny one and i love this one oh yeah careful i don't want that falling oh, gosh that smells so good smells delightful and you guys truly these are waffles they're the consistency they look taste and feel just like waffles they truly do, at least to Harry and I, but we haven't had waffles in yeah, but see, years. So because we have all different flavors now. So yes. That's why. They're hot, hot, hot. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of this in here. One more, one more, one more. Getting close. Um, we're gonna have to have it. I hope it doesn't. Now you're gonna overfill them. I know. This side's gonna overflow, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this over here. Oh, just yeah. in case. Have it waiting in the wings. For an overflow. Mmm. Mmm. Apples. Delicious. Okay, here we go. Yes, I'm scrimping on the butter, dear. Sorry. I get it. Ooh, that's like making bubbly noises. I just want to taste a little bit of butter. You can actually put butter uh, drops in your batter and have it taste like butter and even have it less for the protein spraying modified fast portion of your week. Yes, yes indeed. Okay, you guys, come back when we've got it all plated and Harry's gonna do a taste test. Yes, indeed. Apple pie waffles. It, the smoke is dissipating. Ooh, yeah, beautiful. Harry gets two, I get one. No, I don't want you to cut one in half. Harry, man. honey, I don't want four. Okay. I always end up giving you four. That's why I think you want me to make four each, because then you get like double the amount. <laughs> <laughs> You're no dummy. I found my secret. I found out your secret. My secret, my secret. Because these will fill you up. Oh yeah, they do. They're absolutely amazingly delicious. Yes, oh, they yeah. are. Moderate fat for me. Moderate fat for Harry. Just get that butter, just a little bit of that butter on there, you guys. Mm-mm-mm. These suckers are hot. Whoops. Here's a piece for Sally. Here's Sally's little, show them her little waffle dish. Got a little bunch of little waffles in there, man. Check yeah, it out. She's sleeping right now. Yep. She, she, she said, no, thank you. Just put it on my plate. I'll get it later. Didn't she? Yep. She looked at me <laughs> like, no, I'm not getting up. <sighs> she did the one eyeball. You know, she's laying there. She opens one eye. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I am right now. It's like, she's like, put it on my plate, pop. Okay, here we go. Syrup.
Mm. You use the syrup that works best for you. Walden Farms works best for us. We are very aware of what's inside this syrup, but we've never had an issue with it. It does not impede our weight loss, and that right now is what we are looking to do. Get rid of the weight, throw it away, never to return. We're releasing our bodies of fat. Yes, we are, with Walden syrup. Okay, a little bit of apple pie spice on top, just a little bit. Well, I don't want it to come flowing out, you know. Like that. That's mm -hmm. perfect. Okay. There we go. There you have it, you guys. Oh, man. Fall is in the air. It's going to be in our tummy tum tums. Apple pie waffles with maple walnut syrup. Yes, indeed. Gotta eat now, but Harry's gonna try them in just a second. We'll be right back for a taste test. What? Lift your plate up. You excited? Yes, man. Look at that. Ooh, it's all mine. All mine. Ooh. This is, I think this was the last one, so it's the hottest, I think. Get, get, get that syrup going on. Mmm. -hmm. That was so good. Mmm. Mmm, that is really good. Okay, wait. No, no. We're gonna go now. We're gonna go eat. So, gotta eat now. Bye. You go, Sal. Here's your waff little bit of chopples. Waffle chopples, whatever you want to call them. Oh, she loves them. Hey, everybody. We were sent a wonderful commercial sized griddle yeah. from Vivor. Yes, we were. Now, when we got this, it was 120 degrees outside, and that's not something, and Harry's back was bad, so we've had it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have, but it is perfect grilling, perfect barbecue, perfect smoking weather, and Harry's back is well enough that we can fix up our patio so we can start using things like this. But we wanna do an unboxing yeah. and share this with everybody because we're extremely excited this is the commercial electric grill you guys so we're going to open this up yeah what's the model number on this one eg818 us yep and we are going to open this up unbox it and share everything as we go along so go ahead and open this up dear I was surprised at how heavy this is and, yeah. and, and the size of it, um, which is wonderful. Well, we haven't seen it. We've seen pictures. I meant the box itself. Oh, okay. It's heavy. So. You don't want a flimsy griddle. Yeah, right. You don't. You, you don't want a flimsy barbecue. A, a, a flat top like this. First of all, this is really well packed, you guys. This has got all the pieces of styrofoam. It's in there. It's tucked in very tightly. Ooh, look. Appliances. Oh, Brushes. Wow. Appliances. That's cool. Yeah, we'll give you a close-up of all this oh, stuff. Yes, in just a minute. Let's just, just unbox it if we can. I think we're going to have to turn this over. Turn it upside down, I think. I think so, too. I think that's the, is this, this is the top right here. Okay, well, we're still going to have to unbox it. I know. It. I'll, I know it'll do. I'll just Cut the sides. Cut the Watch side out side. for all this uh, styrofoam. Where's, where's my little vacuum? Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because see, look, you want to suck all these little pieces? Yes, up? yes. I worry about Sally uh, sucking them up. Do you want the, want the long nose? Push it against the stronger. Huh? Push it one more time. It'll be stronger. Oops, don't. This is the little Z Star vacuum, you guys. That's too big. Makes a huge difference. Try to keep it out. Don't wanna have I don't want Sally to eat it either by mistake or inhale it up her nose or something. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, I wanted to clean up all the small stuff because of the puppy. So I'm gonna have to break this. Well, wait a minute. No, what we're gonna do is slide it forward. So here, push it to the back. All right. The boss. <laughs> push it to the back. Oh, and then uh, slide it forward. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Put all the pieces Man, this thing in is the just box. heavy duty. It? Pull it, yeah. Okay. It's heavy, you guys. Yeah, it's really. It's very well made. Yeah. <gasps> Harry, no, no, wait. Let pull the box. There you go. Pull the box out. Get this side up. Okay. So we have the back. You got to turn it around. Okay. Take take the box out of the way, Harry. I'll What's really nice up. about it is they've already they've got it oiled. Look at that. I can. Yep. That's here. Nice. It's already been. Yep. Uh, well, let's read the instructions before you talk about if it is right, or not. Right. Let me get this out of the way. Go ahead. I'll, I'll take care of this. And all the styrofoam pieces. Go ahead. I'll take care of this. You're going to cut it here, Harry. Here. Just take all that. Now, wait a minute. Give me the instructions. Now, one thing I noticed right out of the bag is it does have an a industrial oil smell to it. And like Harry says, it looks like this has been oiled um, but I don't know if that is that they have conditioned it and seasoned it or if that's just what they put on it and it has to be scrubbed and washed off. So let me read and see. So it says, before using the appliance for the first time, peel off any promotional materials and packing materials. Check that the cooking plates are clean and free from dust. If necessary, wipe them over with a damp cloth, spread over an absorbent kitchen towel and wipe off any excess oil. All the oil that's on here is excess oil. So let's get into this. What side is this part on? The front? Ooh, it's pretty. Oh, well, it's very nice. It's well very done. nice. Very nice. Very, I'm, I'm gonna like this. Okay, give me some um, blue gloves, please, and a trash bag. A uh, little, um, this is quite oily, and Harry's gonna have to share this part. What else you want besides blue gloves? Uh, give me a um, shopping bag that I can put this all in. So it's coated, the, the grill is coated and has a piece of, um, plastic over it probably to keep it from getting scratched and everything in in um, shipping so Harry's going to show that where's that bag because I'm going to take this off this is quite gooey and this is what smells like the industrial oil which we're going to need to wash off so So we're gonna stop Bag it. Bag boy. Yes, we're gonna stop it. Can you show this part of it, how greased yes. up it is and oiled it is? There's a splash guard with it. There is a oil trap right here that goes into the oil trap, nice little oil trap inside. The power, the heat, and the amount, heating time is all on the front. The plug is in the back which is nice, but you need to clean this off. And like I said, it has a mechanical oil smell to it, you know, like a car oil or, or anything like that. So I'm gonna wash this off really quickly, you guys, and then we will be back. I am scent sensitive, so I wanna make sure this scent isn't bothering me. Um, and I'll come back in just a minute after we clean the top. I've got my Dawn Pow Platinum Power Wash. Now, you're, what we're going to have to do is, is basically season this top. After it's totally washed off. Yeah, after it's been totally washed off, and then we have to turn it on. We have to keep putting a, a you know, like bacon grease oh, yeah. or something like that on here. I want to use probably uh, for me. Oh yeah, see. Yep. It's yeah, really yeah. coated, you, you guys. Really so you're gonna off. need to get this off. 
before you do anything and then wash it really good so we'll come back when I'm all done with this but I just wanted to show you I'm using the um, Dawn dishwashing power grease spray to get this coating off good enough and then I'm going to wash it with nice suds soap and water and then I'm going to finish it with a little bit of um, vinegar and water just to get the residue off and then we're going to go from there but I'm excited oh this will be great this is going to be fabulous yes this is Use what you would use on your non-stick pans, you guys. No abrasives. No abrasives, no Brillo pads or steel wool or anything like this. This is specifically for non-stick grills. And I'm just getting the soap on there. You want to really clean it. Really clean it. I can't smell any of the oil anymore, which is good. And then I'm just going to come back over this a couple times with water just to make sure. Um, I had Dawn dishwashing a detergent on this just to make sure. Before I go through and get this seasoned, I want to make sure it is thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly clean. clean. Yeah. carefully with the surface so you guys come back when this is thoroughly thoroughly cleaned yes indeed read the instruction book thoroughly before you do anything including clean it because it says do not use cleaning chemicals or soaps as these can be absorbed by the surface and or seep into the gaps or the edges of the gr griddle and affect the favor of the food season the grill per the instructions in the startup section to prevent corrosion please avoid the following situations so the the, the griddle remains unseasoned a thin coating of cooking oil is not applied that means they want you to apply and season it so I have have some brand new avocado oil I'm not gonna plug this in inside though I'm just gonna put a little bit on right now just to before just surface. to protect it because of what I did that's my bad this is gonna turn dark well, as you season it anyway you're gonna have a black griddle wait a minute this is the way we've all, always done it yes that's Even what I'm on saying the last one we had we we, we did exactly what we just did. Yes. And they're talking about like it might affect All the, the time, the food. right. But you know, after you've done this the first time, you don't need to do it like this again. Uh, you know, you don't need to um, clean it like we did. We like I trying, did. We're trying to get rid of the industrial grease on top of it. Or whatever grease. They don't yeah, tell you what it time, is. Yeah. And I am too it sensitive. It smells like, to me, like almost like a, a machine Crude oil. Grease, but I'm not really sure. Crude oil. And yeah. it's still coming up with a coating color on it. That's right. So that's just me. Let me put this just on here. And then let me uh, read the rest of the instructions. Now, when but we season will, it, when we season these, we like I like to turn them on and put about five, six coats of oil on there. A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. So you put it on, and, and when I do it, which will not be today, of course, but when we get to it, when we get outside, because we've got a whole thing being made for this. Right. Uh, I'm going to show everybody how we went about seasoning the top of this griddle. Because this is known like as a griddle startup section let me go to the startup section that information was on the very back page like towards the bottom which is interesting but let me go to the startup section product parameters important safeguards here we go one two three four product perimeters operation tips and hits does not tell you any there's no startup in here is it me well everybody i'm sorry but everybody seasons their grill their own way all right they're really i i've never you know i've always kind of did it the way that that, that i was taught so you know and that's what we're going to do with this one it says to always use the tools they provide which yes. are these little metal tools set them down on the their little spatulas so what they give you and then their little basting tools right which is very nice now i suggest you know everybody if you own one if you get one of these there's a there's a tool that i really like it's it's metal like this except it's about two three inches wide three or four inches wide and it's got a 
uh, a wooden top on it. It's just a long, flat piece of metal. And that's so you can scrape the oils and stuff off. Right into the grease into tray. Into the grease, little crease pit right here, which comes out under here. So what I don't like about this, and I'm sorry, this is me. If I were to have gotten this, I would not, and if I, this is my first griddle I've ever had, I would not know you need to season this. I wouldn't even know what that is, and they need to explain that in the instructions, yeah. Vivor, because I'm looking at the pages, one, two, three, four, five, six. The only thing it says to me, let me read this, I'm reading it again, is under cleaning and maintenance, it says daily after daily use, keep the griddle off at 300 and rub clean with a grill brush or grill brick. Do not use cleaning chemicals or soap as these can be easily absorbed on the surface or seep in the gaps in the edges in the griddle and can affect the flavor of the food. If necessary, use only clean water, oil, and or food grade degreaser for cleaning processes, which I did. I used the food grade degreaser. Remove the empty grease container, clean it thoroughly. We know that. And then That's cool nice. down the unit and apply a thin coating of cooking oil if necessary to prevent corrosion. Oh, so, I do that after every use. And I understand day. that. But then weekly it says allow the grill to completely cool and then clean it. Tells you how to clean it. Then it says season the grill per the instructions in the start up section. To prevent corrosion, please avoid the following situa situations. Don't let the griddle remain unseasoned and always have a thin coating of cooking oil if, you, if it don't have a thin cooking oil if it's not applied. Can you look through this, Harry, real quick yeah. and tell me if you see, if I have missed so the startup section. Start section. Matter of fact, I'll show. Here's page one right here. Do you see anything says startup? Important section? safeguards is the outline safety warnings, precautions, operating, maintenance, and okay. cleaning. It's not the startup section. Turn the page. Well, wait a minute. Let me see. I just want to see if I read if it's in here. Nope. Specifically says this is page one, two, three. See, so it says startup section. No, I do not. This is product perimeters on page four. Page five is operating instructions, temp tips, and hint. I don't even know what that word is. Hintzians. Hintzians. Hint. Like hints. Hints. Tips and hints. You know. and hints. Cleaning, and, Cleaning maintenance. and maintenance is where I read the first thing about safety and troubleshooting and storage and nothing. So, Vivor, you forgot to add. <laughs> something that's kind of very important. Something that's very important, and that would be the startup the instructions in the season the griddle per the instructions in the start up section there is no startup section in here so note to self read your instruction book start to finish and then note where it says to season it like harry said when it's brand new you're going to need to turn it on to about 300 degrees you're going to have to grease it let it sit it may smoke a little bit. That's why we don't want to do it in the house. Whenever you start a new appliance, even if you can use it in the house, even if I put it on my stove, you guys, our vent goes nowhere. <laughs> you can turn on the vent and it sucks it right out into the room. And we have a very nasty smoke detector that screams right here. Oh yeah. So you would season it 300 degrees, put a coat on, let it all set in. Then you would do that four or five times, taking your time, and it's gonna turn your grill darker color. It's gonna get a dark The more you out. use it, it's eventually gonna be black, just like a cast iron pan is. Yeah, it's gonna be very nice, and that's what you're gonna need before you start cooking on it. You don't wanna cook on it. You don't wanna use spray 
on it. You want to use real oil or real bacon grease when you do the bacon grease. If you cook your well, eggs, I've always bacon. liked using bacon grease. Yes, but... I love that in my in my um, in my. Um, cast iron pans. I love bacon grease and we all love bacon grease because we're ketogenic, right? So wipe that on there, get it all nice. And then before you cook it, I would, I would put a little bit more on before just to make sure because here in Arizona, again, it is extremely hot outside and that has an effect on maybe the grease pooling or not being even. So you always want to do that. But I am very excited about this. It's got venting on the sides. It's got a nice length of cord. Sometimes cords are way too short. Yeah, no, like this is also good look, for Europe, right? It's no, it's, no, no, what did, no, that, no, no, no. This is an American hookup. No, here. but what did it say? In? It says that this is also made for Europe. So they will have different uh, connectors oh, for thank that. Thank you. The European, you can yeah, get the European it. will have different ones. And then I like the cord that it, you can tell it's rated for the, the voltage because it pulls about sixteen hundred on here. So. I like that the grease is right in front. It's plain and simple. You push your grease to the front. You can take this out, wash it. You can use your heavy detergents, your Dawns, to keep this nice and clean. Dishwasher. Wipe, well, after you wash, wipe it out really yeah. good. Wipe this off. This is plain and easy and simple. Nothing fancy schmancy where I have to get a decoder book yeah. to decide what button I'm pushing because I hate that. And then you just temp it, you guys, and you plug it in. So I'm very excited. Thank you, Vivor, for sending this to us. We yeah. are super excited. We're going to about... be using this a lot, so yes, it's going to get a lot of coverage. What I like, look how many slices of bacon I can get across there. I know. You, you know, you were thinking the same thing I was. That's funny. Oh, my God. Man, I can get the bacon on here. Yep. You can get the eggs and the pancakes and all, all the good stuff. All at one time, man. On it's here, a griddle. All yeah. at once. It's great, but it's not a small griddle. And it's got a lot of room and I like that it's got a backsplash. Now, Vivor has a lot of different things besides the barbecuing. They have gardening, they have manufacturing stuff, they have some deals, they have all kinds of things. So go to their website down in the description below. We've got a link, a discount code and all that information, but go check them out because they've got carts and stands and cupboards. And, and if you wanna do a built-in barbecue, you can buy all the parts and stuff. They have a big tall splash back for you, right? In stainless yep. steel. Their stuff is very well Made. It's very um, durable, and um, I love the fact that they were kind enough to send this to us. And I apologize that it took us several weeks to show this to everybody. But like I said, with Harry's back and not having a place to do it outside, we just wanted to make sure we could give them our fullest attention with the Vivor grill. And you guys, we will share when we grill on it as well, because I'm very excited about that. But we do need to take it outside. We do need to plug it in. We do need to season it this will change color just like any of the other grills that you've bought ever you know barbecues or anything like that so just note to self you're going to need to um, season it maybe what I'll do is take my bacon grease out there Harry yes and season it when we season it we're going to show it how okay. we're seasoning so everybody can get a little lesson on how to season a, a griddle Right. So anyway, thank you, Vivor, for that. You guys go check it out. Christmas is coming. If you have those barbecuers in the family, if your husband's a barbecuer, go check it out today and take a look at it because Christmas is right around the corner. The holidays are, let me tell you, Halloween's next week and then it's Christmas. Boom. Anyway, you guys, see you in the next segment. Hey everybody, we've got mail. We went by the P.O. box on the way home and I've got a beautiful Vermont fall card. It's in Walden near Cabot Town Lane. It says, Wendy and Harry love watching you. You're very helpful with us staying keto over vacation. Back to New Jersey tomorrow, the 14th. Love and blessings, Valerie and Tom Ryan. Thank you so much for the postcard, you guys. I'm telling you, it's taking forever for things to get to us in Arizona. This was mailed out on October 13th, and it was just in our mailbox today. Wow. And we've been checking it regularly. Oh, yeah. um, so it's quite interesting. But thank you so very much for the postcards. I love postcards. You guys can send me postcards. Now I got something else from Pluck that I'm very excited about. 
very excited about you guys <laughs> because Pluck has new pure organ meat blend. Oh wow, really? That's all that's in it. So you guys, do you know what this means? Do you know what this means? No, what does it mean, Wendy? This means Sally Girl can have some Pluck seasoning oh. on her dog food every day. Yes, indeed. That's Plus, we can idea. still use it, but it's great because your animals, your cats, your dogs, anything that needs the protein, that needs the organ blend, you can sprinkle a little bit of this delicious blend on their food, too, you guys. You sure about that? Seriously, that's all that's got. There's no fillers, no gluten, no sugar, no sodium, nothing. Nothing artificial. Official. End of story. Half a teaspoon. It's freeze dried powdered liver, spleen, kidney, heart, and pancreas. Yes, indeed, you guys. And it's 100% grass fed pasture beef organs. So when Harry makes food tonight, he's going to share his yep. little mixture and he'll put some of this on for Sally. She'll really love oh, it, yeah. you guys. Sure, so Sally we're does. very excited about it because she loves organ blends and it's very healthy for your animals. Yes, it is. So I'm very excited about this. And you can use it on your stuff too. Especially if you are a pure uh, lion diet where you're just eating the beef and water, right? You're very purist. I would get some of this pluck and sprinkle it on your steak. Yes, indeed, I would. So anyway, and anywhere in between, you guys. So I thought that was really cool. I think that's great. Thank you, James. Thank you, thank you so much for this. And we're going to share this for a little Sally's dinner tonight. Yes, we are. But speaking of dinner, you guys, <laughs> yeah, we went outside, set up our Vivor. And we can't plug it in because our jacuzzi has the only outlet plugged in. Because we use the other outlet to have a 50 amp plug ran out to Arvita on the other side. We're gonna be doing some things out there to rearrange stuff and get another uh, circuit put in. And I apologize for that. Um, yes, I am. So we have an issue. This is a very old house. It was built like probably in the 40s or 50s yeah, right. and we can't plug in if you guys have watched any of my older films when we started getting an air fryer we can't have like the microwave or the dishwasher when you have the air fryer plugged in you can blow a circuit really easy and we do it all the time here you guys just don't see it um, so we have to be careful because our house the load doesn't handle a lot of stuff yeah so it doesn't do well it doesn't and this no. vent under here goes nowhere it blows right from here and if we have any smoke whatsoever forget it you it screams and those are hard that particular one is hardwired came with the house we have some ones that aren't that are battery that you can unplug but that one's hardwired well so. this house was built when all they had was their high tech was a tv set and a, yes and a radio and that was it well if you ever look at my front room there are no lights in the ceilings or anything in the front room. They all had the hanging lights because yeah. there were no lights in there. So we've got lamps in my very front room. Um, so these, I have, these were put in. Yes. The ones in the ceiling. This, this is all oh, new, right. Yeah, yeah. So well, I apologize. I we will be cooking on it because I am super excited. The fact that you have room to literally cook a whole ton of bacon. Oh man. If you're baking beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. That is the perfect grill for you. Yeah. Let me tell you, because it's gonna be perfect. Anyway, you guys, we're gonna have something to eat. We are eating leftovers. I have my um, barbecue chicken buns. Yes, I do. And we are gonna heat these up. How many do you want, Harry? Just two. one at a time? Do you want, you want two at a yeah, time? Yeah, I want two. Okay. Definitely, two. Two, two, two. Yep. They're very filling. Now, you remember which ones these were, right? Yes, I just said, they're the barbecue No, I'm chicken. talking to everybody else. Oh, yes. I know you know what they are. Oh, I thought you were asking me and I'm going, yes, I know what they are, dear. God, they still smell great. They smell great and they feel, you guys, these, these freeze, unthaw and cook, reheat, microwave, Fabulous. refrigerator perfectly yep. so I'm gonna just put a paper towel on them just to absorb any moistness that comes off of them yeah I used the word moistness sorry but I did 
I'm gonna nuke these. Wait, 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 wait. Moist is a bad word? Oh yeah, some people don't like that word. It's weird. Really? You're talking food, you gotta use it. It's moist. Harry, Marty, Harry. So it's such a bad boy, Marty. Anyway, I'm gonna not cover it with this because this keeps the steam in and I don't wanna steam these. I have them wrapped in paper towel to keep it from exploding everywhere. And I'm gonna heat it for about one minute, 30 seconds and see how warm this is. I want, you wanna warm it, you don't wanna cook it. That's the main thing. So let me get myself a plate and we're gonna get some dipping sauce going on too. What do you want to dip your sauce? What do you want to dip yes. Buffalo sauce. That's right, you guessed right. And what did she win? Nothing! A ginger root beer, Zevia. Oh, okay, there you go. Yes, I do. Me too, give me one. Hey, back your hair's all in part. Uh, it's all gooey. Well, thank you, dear, for sharing because usually you let me go all with wigged out hair. Better? Yep. Point. That's a point. He got a point. Harry, Harry, Marty, Harry. Do we have a little one of them? Do we have a little one of my little things right behind you? Let me see. What's a little thing? A uh, little these. These are little Pyrex dishes and they come with lids and everything. Yeah. We broke a couple. Uh, yeah, we yeah, have. Yeah, well, you know. So the like smaller, maybe half of them. The smaller ones we've kind of broken. Sorry about that. But Harry wants buffalo. I want barbecue sauce. So I'm going to give him his buffalo ranch. Yep, yep. And this is the Walden's buffalo afraid. ranch dressing. You can have more. Don't worry. You can have more. And I'm going to have some original Walden Farms barbecue sauce. But yes, these little sandwiches, they're good cold too. They're good room temperature, should I say. You got all kinds of ideas for that griddle right now. Are you? Yeah. Ooh. Going through your brain? Yep. yep. Is it? Yeah. All we gotta do is get it all set up and stuff out there. I'm excited because it's perfect weather for grilling here. It really is. So, um, yes. It's not gonna be like right away. Ooh, but, you, know. you guys, but look at this. Look how nice those are. Hot, see? Hot, hot. I don't know, I can't hot. see your hands are in the way. Here, let me lift it. Share. Share with you. That is our break, our dinner. We already had breakfast. So we had chaffles and these are barbecue chicken stuffed buns. Yes, they are. And, and if you want to delicious. see how they were made, go to this video. Harry will link it at the end too. So you guys just click on it and you can go see, but look how nice and soft these are. And they're nice and they're, they've stayed together and they're warm Yeah. and delicious. <laughs> so you guys, Oh, here you go, Harry. There's yours. I'm ready, man. There's mine. You only have one? Yes. They're very filling. They don't look big, but they are filling, and they are delicious. Anyway, you guys, this is our dinner. We're going to go ahead and close out for tonight. We're having them with a Zevia. Yes, we are. Very excited about the Zevia part of it. If you guys don't forget, the Vivor information is down in the description below, you guys. We've got the link. We've got a code. We've got the whole thing. Go check out their website. I was surprised. They've got all kinds of neat stuff on their website other than barbecue stuff. Gardening stuff, gardening tools. They've got manufacturing. If you want to build your own like um, barbecue bar where you're putting in the built-in containers and, and um, steel cabinetry and drawers and all that stuff, they've got it all. Anyway, you guys, don't forget, please remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. That throws us out to the YouTube universe so other folks like you can find us. Don't forget, pluck pure. We're going to see how Sally likes this. Yes, indeed. Good night, everyone.